folks, SBS back in the building. Game day, got Michigan State versus Maryland. Top 10 team in the Big Ten coming in the building. But the great thing is going to be halftime. The 2000 National Championship Spartans will be recognized. See a fun time here. The Izzo's already get it going. Stay tuned for more. SBS is out. guys that believed in each other. Nobody was bigger than the team. Not one person. That's what made us special. And that's something you guys should appreciate. We had one goal. We had one goal, and that was winning the national championship. And every guy that stopped, that's, that's standing behind, even the guys that before me, we want, we want to thank the guys that came before us, we want to thank the guys that kept the tradition going after us, but these guys, I want to tell you, every day, we worked for each other, we grinded together, it was a family. We had one goal and that was one the national championship. Blood, sweat, and tears, every day we got in the gym. It was all about winning the national championship, but not just win, winning it together. So I know I speak for pretty much everybody that's standing behind me. Fair. That's what separated us from the rest of the teams around the country. One team, one dream, one goal. Family, we did it together. We love you guys, Spartan Nation. Give it up, Andre Hudson, after the halftime celebration. What was it like to come back and have that celebration? Uh, pretty special, man. Pretty special to get back out here with all the guys. You know, it's been shit, 20 years almost for some of the guys that I've seen. So uh, it's really nice to get together and just enjoy the game and, and, and cut up a little bit. Can you, can you describe a little bit of the feeling you had 20 years ago when you won and, and you can talk about what that feels like right now? Yeah, just a sense of accomplishment. We worked so hard. I think the team kind of dressed it out there. We worked so hard and had a, a mission together that we want to go out there and win a national championship. When you set your sights that high and uh, set goals like that and actually accomplish it, just a, this is been overjoyed, feeling overjoyed, man. That's how we felt, and, and we can still remember that today. For the last thing, how uh, did that work out to get one of that national championship after basketball with all the great things you're doing right now? Yeah, it just taught me how, how to get how to get ahead in life. You know what I mean? If you want to get things done, you got to put that effort and that work into it. And that's something I'm taking 
uh, for my days here at Michigan State and carried all my professional career. So uh, I'm really, really appreciate, appreciative of my time I spent here at Michigan State. Mateen, how has winning a national championship helped you with your community work when you're in the neighborhoods when you talk to the young people and you reflect back uh, on winning that? Uh, it's big, you know, and, and when you – Telling the kids, you know, I won a national championship. Um, you know, you get their attention because they don't want to talk to nobody that haven't achieved nothing. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, saying I won a national championship, and, and this is how I felt when I, you know, was watching that the, the time roll off that clock. You know, this mm -hmm. all the work that I had to put in. You know, I always preach to young kids, you gotta, you gotta have self confidence, man. You gotta believe in yourself first. Mm -hmm. Coming to Michigan State wasn't a popular thing to do. Mm -hmm. I had self confidence, man, to come here and to. to imagine it or to believe that I could turn this program around and get it to national prominence. Mm -hmm. That comes with self-confidence and it started with you having great parents. Mm -hmm. But this definitely helps me, man, and I and I try to use this as a platform to get our younger generation um, to get on the right track, to believe in themselves, to know mm -hmm. if you want to be successful, you got to work hard. You know, and don't, I don't, like I said, I don't believe in luck. And I preach to my son all the time, and if you want to be successful, you got to work. Mm -hmm. You got to be willing to do what other people are not. Mm -hmm. You got to go to the gym when other people are not there. You got to get up in the morning, do push ups, sit ups. Go to the gym an hour before everybody else, stay an hour after. Mm -hmm. So I definitely use, thank God, I use this platform to get people attention, mm -hmm. to try to help them in, in, in um, their everyday lives. Great, thank you.